Hey, what is up everybody? Michael here from Michael Alexander Photography and today we are back with another cool video. We are going to be checking out another action from the MPP Retouch Tools and this one is called Actions 18 Light Effects. Now, if anybody knows my photography, if you looked on my channel and stuff like that, I like playing with light a lot. But sometimes the light in the real world doesn't always like to play along with your idea. But then there's always Photoshop, so we can always manipulate light a little bit afterwards. But how do you make it look more realistic? Now let's jump into Photoshop and let me talk to you guys a little bit about how to make your light effects look a little bit more realistic and why they might not be working for you. All right, so the image that we're going to be manipulating a little bit today is this one from a wedding that I shot a while ago. And what I really wanted to do have is this big beaming light coming through this door. Now, this was middle of the day and there was a lot of light available, but this was on the wrong side of the building. And also the light wasn't shining directly at the door. So you can still see there is light beaming through the door, but it's a little bit more softer and it's less beaming. It's not really coming through the door. And the reason for this is light's only visual when it's volumetric or coming through a contrasted area. Now, what I mean by that is volumetric means there is a substance or uh, particles in the air that the light is beaming through and what you're actually seeing is the light lighting up these particles similar to this photo now this photo was achieved in camera like i said sometimes the light does work with you and sometimes it doesn't but in this photo we used the smoke and a snoot to beam through the light so now you can actually see that light beaming through the background but that is also only visual when there's contrast as you can see there's a white light or kind of looking bluish in this photo because of the little bit of grading that i did um, but the background's black so the light is obviously being shown now if this was a white background or a very bright background doesn't even matter if you had particles in the air you will not see this light actually showing up in the photo now let's go back to this photo. In this photo, we're going to actually be using one of the new actions from MVP, and that is Actions 18, the light effects action. And we're going to be adding a little bit of a kind of a beam coming through the door with this action set. The action that we are going to be using is the MVP manual flare intense because I kind of want to show you guys what it really looks like. Uh, the subtle is by far my favorite because I love it when something just kind of blends into it. But sometimes you just want that little bit of a, you know, over exaggerated look. And for demonstration purposes, that works perfectly. And what I love about this is I get to choose exactly where this flare is going to come from. So the way you do it is you have to create another layer and then you take a white brush and you mark the points where you want the flare to be from. Now, for me, I want it to come through these little panes of glass coming through the window. And I don't want it to affect that whole area. I want to still kind of see that there was this door that has these like panes of glass in it. I don't want it to be an overly bright wall suddenly. So we'll even add it on the top two and then run MBP manual flare intense. And it's going to tell you what you need to do. It's going to tell you that you needed a blank layer that you have painted on. We've already done that. So continue. And then it's going to run all the actions and boom. And there we go. And what I really love is that it reaches all the way to her face. You know, it lights up the face a bit, making the whole look, look a little bit more realistic, you know, and that you get to now play also afterwards with the tint saying you want it a little bit warmer, like, you know, fake that little bit of a afternoon sun coming through there. There you go. A little bit more orange, a little bit more heat. And there you go. It's very noticeable here on the shoulder. If you want to see how to really manipulate this thing and get the most out of it, I definitely recommend looking at the more in-depth video that Nina put out. This is just a little bit of a showcase how you can really use it in images and how you can actually enhance all the images that actually require a little bit of a extra push that nature didn't allow us to have. And what's really fun is you can still control the light and how much the light is affecting the area afterwards by using the level slider. See if you can look at her shoulder right over here. We'll zoom in. If I push it forward, it affects the area a little bit less. If I take it back, it affects the area a bit more. And the same with the rest. And you can fine tweak exactly what you want out of it. And what's also nice is with the tint, if you need to affect the whole area, let me show you. Zoom out again. We'll close this. You can play with the underlying layer level. And you can add a little bit of warmth to the entirety of the photo, just kind of bringing the whole thing together. You know what I mean? And there we go. We went from a photo like this to a photo like that. 
giving it that little bit more of an airiness, that little bit more of a bright, sunny, shiny day beaming through the window. Just got that romantic vibe to it. And all of that with a click of a button. This is definitely another one of my favorite action sets that I definitely recommend you get. If you're just trying to, you know, add a little bit more to your photos. There's so many more different type of effects. It also comes with a brush set. So definitely check it out if you're interested. But with that all said and done, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned a little bit more about lens flares. Like I said, it's only available in contrasted areas and when it's volumetric. Otherwise, it just looks like you brightened up a certain area of the image. It's all about making it believable when you edit. That is the key to editing properly. But enough of my rambling. Definitely, if you guys have any questions, comment down below, you know, all that jazz. Hit the like button. It definitely helps elevate the video and allows more people to see it. And subscribe if you haven't already. And that is it for me for today, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.